Hi friends, this is Suma from softwaretestingmaterial.com. In this video, we are going to see test metrics and types. Before starting what is software test metrics and its types, I would like to start with the famous quotes in terms of metrics. An American software engineer, author and a consultant on software engineering topics, Mr. Tom DeMarco quoted, You can't control what you can't measure. Software test metrics is to monitor and control process and product. It helps to drive the project towards our planned goals without a deviation. Metrics answer different questions. It's important to decide what questions you want answers to. Software test metrics are classified into two types. Process metrics, product metrics. Process metrics. Software test metrics used in the process of test preparation and test execution phase of STLC. Check out our video on what is STLC and its phases. During the test preparation phase of STLC, we do generate test case preparation productivity, test design coverage, test execution productivity, test execution coverage, test cases passed, test cases failed, test cases blocked. Let's see one by one. Test case preparation productivity. It is used to calculate the number of test cases prepared and the effort spent for the preparation of test cases. Here is the formula. Test case preparation productivity is equal to number of test cases divided by Effort spent for test case preparation. Here goes an example on test case preparation productivity metrics. Test design coverage. It helps to measure the percentage of test case coverage Again is the number of requirements. The formula for this matrix is test design coverage is equal to total number of requirements mapped to test cases divided by total number of requirements multiplied by 100. Here goes an example on test design coverage matrix. Now we will see the metrics. We usually generate during test execution phase of STLC. Test execution productivity. It determines the number of test cases that can be executed per hour. Formula to calculate test execution productivity metrics is number of test cases executed divided by effort spent for execution of test cases. Here goes an example on test execution productivity metrics. Test execution coverage. It is to measure the number of test cases executed against number of test cases planned. Formula to calculate this matrix is total number of test cases executed divided by total number of test cases planned to execute multiplied by 100. Here goes an example on test execution coverage matrix. Test cases passed. It is to measure the percentage number of test cases passed. The formula for this matrix is total number of test cases passed divided by total number of test cases executed multiplied by 100. 
Here goes an example on test cases past matrix. Test cases failed. It is to measure the percentage number of test cases failed. The formula for test cases failed matrix is test cases failed is equal to total number of test cases failed divided by total number of test cases executed multiplied by 100. Here goes an example on test cases failed matrix. Test cases blocked. It is to measure the percentage number of test cases blocked. The formula is test cases blocked is equal to total number of test cases blocked divided by total number of test cases executed multiplied by 100. Here goes an example on test cases blocked matrix. Coming to the product matrix. Product matrix is a software test matrix used in the process of defect analysis phase of STLC. During the defect analysis phase of STLC, we do generate error discovery rate, defect fix rate, defect density, defect leakage, defect removal efficiency. Let's see one by one with examples. Error discovery rate. It is to determine the effectiveness of the test cases. Formula for this matrix is total number of defects found divided by total number of test cases executed multiplied by 100. Here goes an example on error discovery rate matrix. Defect fix rate. It helps to know the quality of a build in terms of defect fixing. Formula for this matrix is total number of defects reported as fixed minus total number of defects reopened divided by total number of defects reported as fixed and total number of new bugs due to fix multiplied by 100. Here goes an example on defect fix rate matrix. Defect density. It is defined as the ratio of defects to requirements. Defect density determines the stability of the application. Formula for defect density matrix is total number of defects identified divided by actual size of requirements. Here goes an example on defect density matrix. Defect leakage. It is used to review the efficiency of the testing process before UAT. Formula for this matrix is total number of defects found in UAT divided by total number of defects found before UAT multiplied by 100. Here goes an example on defect leakage matrix.
defect removal efficiency it allows to compare the overall defect removal efficiency formula to calculate defect removal efficiency matrix is total number of defects found pre delivery divided by total number of defects found pre delivery and total number of defects found post delivery multiplied by 100 Here goes an example on defect removal efficiency matrix. This is all about test matrix. Thanks friends. If you have any queries, please comment below. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel by clicking the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video soon. Thank you. Have a good day.